values in, in attribute table using QJS. So I'll open my QJS, which is version 3.10. So I'll go to layer, add layer, add vector layer, I'll browse, I'll take this, I'll put save files here, S3 shape files, and I'll select my roads and add. Okay, these are my roads, these are for some roads. So I'll show you how to do this. So I'll I'll open the attribute table here. Yeah. You can just go here or you can just move from here, open attribute table. So this is my attribute table, there is some roads. So I'll create a new column for road name so that I can show you how to move this rows name to another column. So I'll just go, make sure the pencil is on. This is toggle editing and I'll click this name field. I'll write maybe road, new road names, names. Then I'll make sure it is text. Then I'm gonna put the length should be maybe 100 or whatever. So I'll say okay. So after this, this is the new road names. I want to move these road names to this particular column. So what I'm gonna do, I'll just move to this one. Open, I mean this one. Open field calculator. Okay. So clicking on open field calculator. This is my field calculator. So there is this side reach of field and update existing field. So because I've already created the field already, so that means this road name will be moving to another column of new road names. So make sure that first you select the which field are you working with. So I'll select here to field and values. Then I'll double click this road name, you see, which is already selected, it's double string. Then I'll click here, update existing field. I want which existing field should be updated, this one. So I'll click here, new road names. So upon clicking, make sure this road name is should move to another this. That means on the left, new road name, this one, then update, it should update to another one. So after doing this, just only required to push OK button. So upon clicking OK button, there you are. So just simple like that. So thank you. Hope I'm understood.